Low behind the goal for Van Osler. We pass, out come the Kings to center. Palace one on two, with some speed, gonna go right wing side. Bowman steps into him, getting in front of him here on the four check. Foster can't find the loose puck. The Warriors just hammer it out to center. Purvis, Foster, off the stick of St. Croix. Now it's in his skates, Pelch collects it right wing, left wing side. His pass hits the skate, comes right back to him. Foster gets it in deep here for St. Croix. Pelch in front of the goal. St. Croix working his back end, now turns in the corner. Got Pelch all alone, there's a pass. Oh, what a stop, and then he finds it and scores! Christian Pelch now low, outweighs Heemster. It's 2-1 Oil Kings. What a goal from Christian Pelch. His first goal in the WHL. And how's that for points, Corey Graham? An unbelievable pass from Michael St. Croix behind the net. Pels takes it on his forehand. He's got uh, Heemskirk in front of him. It looked like he faked the shot. He held on to it the whole way. Heemskirk's down and out, and he fires a forehand into the wide open cage. I mean, that's probably the uh, one of the prettier first goals you'll see. Great job from Pels. Pels has been coming here. He's had some good games on that road trip. Doesn't able to score put up any points, but he's been coming on here as the season. Waiting Come back, on. no uh, down ice pressure here by the Kings. Now Pelshin on the forecheck. Need him out. Working his back end of the line, stripped by Pelsh. Now Hickmont comes in with Ruck. Hickmont, Ruck in the slot, takes a look shot. He scores! Josh Lazowski on a pass from Hickmont. It's 1-1 as the Oil Kings get on the board. That was a terrific textbook two-on-one. Finished off uh, by Josh Lazowski. What a play, though. As the uh, it was a kind of a broken play, and the Oil Kings were able to pounce on the puck as it was uh, stripped off of Pelch's uh, stick right at the blue line, and it went to Hickmont, who uh, from there it was just a two-on-one, simple two-on-one. Nice pass over to Lazowski, who just uh, roofed it past freezing glove side. And this one is knotted up at one. Big goal momentum-wise as well. The Oil Kings are kind of sitting back here. Lead the Oil Kings in scoring with 16 points. Came with a shot, was over top of the Bruin goal. Now Wentworth, thrown into the board. Stall then slams St. Claw to the side dash. Stall again battling on St. Claw. Oil Kings will get the puck. Deck back at the point. Slap shot rebound. They score. Michael St. Claw on a juicy bounce off the end wall. Has tied up the game. And it's 1-1 as St. Paul will get his 10th of the year. Tough to tell from up here, but that shot that went wide could have been purposely shot wide to avoid that traffic in front. And I believe it was. As, uh, you can see the Bruins getting down in the lane. They chose a different lane, got the rebound off the end boards, and we're at a 1-1 tie. Well, the Bruins open the scoring for this second period. Edmonton, some great chances, and they score now to take the lead. As Ryan Deck slips one under Gore, and it's 3 2 Oil Kings. Now Ryan House may have tweaked his leg there on that play at center ice. He was slow to get up, and he had a tough time covering his man on that, and we still see him favoring that leg a little bit. It looks like he's going to stay out there. But the Oil Kings do take a three stop. That's a return with it. Off pass ahead for Pelch, left wing side with some speed at the blue line, just gains it. Now he throws the puck towards the front of the goal. He goes right through the crease of the sideboard, Van Amosler fans on it. Pelch now, right wing corner with it, down below the goal line, leans it for Michael St. Croix, 12 goals on the year, centers it, here's a chance shot, they score! TJ Foster, that's the start the Oil Kings have been looking for, 1-0 Edmonton. Well, I guess we just got to ask for it, Corey. I don't know, but what a terrific start for the Oil Kings here. Katona set right from the drop of the puck. Jordan Hickmark, Dylan Ruck, and Josh Zoski get the puck in deep. They go to work. They're not able to get uh, any uh, any shots, but they have the, the cycle the puck for about 30 seconds. The next line comes out St. Croix. Pels and Foster, a great rush from Pels. And then what a terrific pass from Michael St. Croix as he pretends to go behind the net, puts it back out. TJ Foster, short side. Upstairs, pass to Lover. St. Claw, here's Foster with some speed, crosses the blue line, cuts it on his backhand, right in front, Lover down, rebound, they score! Christian Pelch right in front of the goal, finds the loose puck, buries the rebound, we're tied at three. 
Well, at the right spot at the right time is Christian's Pelts, and this is all at the work of TJ Foster, who's been skating very, very well tonight. We've seen him drive the net on a few other occasions. Here he does just blow past Jane and Risling, cuts in front of the net. Glover makes the first save, but Pelsch was following up very hard right behind, and he's able to put the rebound past Glover. We got a tie game, three apiece each. Great job from the Latvian. Ozowski back to Hickbot on his own end, looking at Ryan Hart. Now the line man, he keeps it in the blue line. Fans on his shot, here's a chance for the Oil Kings. Poked ahead, now St. Croix. He'll go for Pelsch, dropping it back. There's a great front. St. Croix backhand shot. Oh, what a stop rebound. They score! Griffin Reinhardt going hard to the front of the net, following up on the play, buries it, it's 2-2. And the number three, Bar Passing! Time of the goal, 16 minutes, six seconds. Here's Pelsch in the Vancouver end, trying to keep it in deep as he's knocked down along the sideboard. Swartz, St. Croix walks off the, the boards in for Foster, there's a shot! Oh, what a stop, and then he hits his goal! Rebound, they score! T.J. Foster going hard to the net. Jensen made the first stop, and Foster poked the rebound by. It's five or six four now for the Oil Kings. Oh, what a huge goal by this Oil Kings team! You know, you go up five four. There's still lots of time on the clock. This is such a potent Giants offense, and the St. Paul line comes out. And this is Christian Pell starting this off. He dumps the puck in, follows it up, wins the puck back behind the Giants goal. And then a great uh, turnover. It's uh, Griffin Reiner keeping the puck in at the blue line. Gets it to Michael St. Croix. Kicks it down to uh, Foster. And he's able to put his own rebound in. Front, Herbis, uh, Foster breaks that up. Now Pelsch with St. Croix. Pelsch with some speed. Right wing side snaps the shot. Listen to say bounces down. St. Croix fans on it. Right in front. Comes right back to the line. Lots of time for the Rock. Fires the shot. They score! Ripped on by Braden the Rock, and I think it hit something in front. It's 3-2 now for Brandon. Wow, well, I love this shot from Braden the Rock. A juicy, juicy rebound comes right up the middle of the slot. Braden the Rock's just getting on the ice, and uh, the puck comes right to him. They're going to say it's the Rock's goal. St. Paul wants these two teams at a line brawl in Brandon. One of the uh, better line brawls this season right here. Now here's Foster into the corner. Michael St. Paul drops it back to DJ Foster. A lot of these players are involved, obviously, but Ross now the corner, centers it in front, looking for the chance for Pell, shot, the lights on, they score! Christian Pelch in front of the net as time has gone up, Corral not at a three. I'll talk about a response and what happened before these two goals, Corey, that fight with Stefan Legault, he got his team fired up, showing this Sweet Kings team, hey, you came to our building, you hit us around for the first 10 minutes, well, we're going to start pushing back, and ever since that, it's just been some terrific hockey from this Oil Kings team, nice little work down low from uh, St. Paul, putting the puck out front, the fortunate bounce, right onto the stick of Christian Spells, who sticks with it, and eventually is able to jam it. Down. The light was on before the referee made a signal, but uh, nonetheless, we're tied at three. Goal is third of the season, scored by number 26, Christian Pell. The assist to number two. Burton centers it in front. That one missed Rock, and now turning deep is Rock, left wing side. Three canes on him, though, he'll to chip it out the center. It rolls down the ice, no ice. Uh, we, see, we wondered if it would be sloppy to start. The other things have not looked good here early on. 5-0 on the shots for the Hurricanes. Here's Christian Pell, drag move to the slot. Backhand shot on, stopped by Anderson. He'll go to the corner. St. Croix, to the line, Mark Pesic makes the shot. Locked in lots of time, now his wrist shot is blocked. Pokes the line, kept in by Pesic on his backhand into the corner for TJ Foster. Leaves it for Pell. His sharp angle shot stopped. Now the Hurricanes double chip to the line. Can't get it by Keegan Low. Good pressure here by the Oil King. Pell. Left wing corner, runs away from a check. As he cycles back to the line, low just onside. He shot, they score! Kicked in front by Michael St. Croix, what the hell? Okay. Picked up there by Kizik. I get it ahead, it's broken up the old King's pitch. Here comes Christian Pelt, racing in with Hickmont. In front, Hickmont, they score! Jordan Hickmont, it's 3-1 Oil King. That's a heck of a nice goal and a beautiful setup play by Christian Pelch who 
makes a nice move uh, one on one against the defenseman and then puts a backhand pass uh, across the top of the crease to Jordan Hickmont, who really had nothing left to do but uh, tap it into the net. But a sliding defenseman tried to get in a lofty pass from Pelsch, and Pelsch just outweighs him, makes a dangle at the side of the net, sends it in front to Hickmont, who uh, just snaps it home, and this one's now 3-1 for the old woman at Edmonton like you did in the first 40. Today's day and age, Pat, you just can't clutch, grab, and hang on to hockey games. I think you got to keep coming, keep the four check going. It's been real strong. The aggressive nature of the Canes have played tonight. If I'm Rich Preston, I continue to employ just the same strategy here into this final period. Loose puck out in front of the Edmonton goal. Knocked down, Brody centers in, fighting with a shot, center with a whack at it. Loose in front of the Edmonton goal, poked down to the corner. Fighting will pick it up. Gets it now to the left point for Daniel Johnston. Johnston, a wrist shot blocked in front by Foster. And it goes back out to center ice. Fighton brings it through. He's knocked down by Pels. No penalty call. Back the other way come the Hurricanes. Cam Braze in with Kizik. Braze, a wrist shot up high. Brody Sutter now picks it up. Sutter to the right point. Here's Fighton. Fighton's in. Tried to drop it back. He got caught. Here comes Pels in on a break. Pels shoots. Scores. Christian Pels upstairs and this is a one goal hockey game tremendous speed that was there as Pelsch just flew through the neutral zone the native of Latvia goes high blocker side great finish huge goal here on the breakaway Pelsch scores Pat to cut this hurricane lead down to one and the native of Latvia, you raved about him in the pregame show. You really liked his play up in Edmonton the other night. This, of course, our first time to see him play this season. Gets a big one here. Nice backhand move. Puts her upstairs. The Calgary native scores a big one here in the shootout. All right, so Christian Pelsch, the Latvian, will shoot next here for Edmonton. Pelsch cuts down the middle of the ice. In on Anderson. He fires it home and scores. And Anderson tried to poke check at Fred, and Pels beat him. 